Hi, thanks for stopping by, I'm Adam, and welcome to this week's video, where today I'll be looking at streaming one of these to one of these. So let's go ahead and do that right now. The first thing we need to do is head on over to tsb.space. I'll pop the full link into the description down below. Let's scroll down to the download link and download the latest version for Windows. Once downloaded, you'll need to extract the zip file and run the u64streamer.exe app. I'll just navigate to my downloads folder, right click on the zip file and select extract all dot 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 and then click extract. Next I'll run the u64streamer exe app. Now depending on the version of Windows you are running and the settings you have in place, you may see this pop up. If you do, to run the app, you'll need to click on More Info and then Run Anyway. Let's stretch this window out a little. Right, down here you've got the About section featuring all of the people that deserve some credits. Next you have the settings where you can adjust the resolution of the image captures and captured video. Next is the stream statistics. If you love stats, then you'll love this, but I'm going to close this for now. To record the audio stream, click here. To take an image capture, click here. To record the video stream, click here. And finally, if you want to stop the stream, just click here. I now need to head on over to my Ultimate 64 and start the audio and video streams. Enter the Ultimate 64 menu with a quick press of the power button. Then press the F2 key and scroll down to Data Streams. Here is where you enter the IP address of the Windows PC running the U64 Streamer app. For the VIX stream, leave the port number to the default 11000. For the audio stream, leave the port number set to the default of 11001. Next we need to start the streams, so press the F5 key and scroll down to Start VIX Stream and press Return. Then press return to confirm the IP address and port number. Do the same for the audio stream. The U64 streamer application is now receiving both the audio and video streams from the Ultimate 64. Let's grab an image capture as a quick test and let's also record the audio and video. Now I'm going to open the USB stick and select my cartridge folder and let's run mm, Miss Pac-Man. One thing I've noticed on this is that the timing is a little out, making gameplay a little tricky. So it seems the encoding, streaming and decoding process just takes a little bit too much time to make playing this game via the streamed image possible. But then I don't think that this is what the app was intended for anyway. I feel that this app is better suited for capturing gameplay or to be used in conjunction with something like OBS for live streaming. I think I'm going to try the SID player next. To me, this doesn't sound any different than when I play directly through my television. Next, I'm just going to power off the Ultimate 64 to see what happens. So the picture stays on the last received frame. Let's tell the app to stop receiving the stream. You'll find any captured video and audio inside the U64 stream folder. And then within here, a folder called Capture. Here, you can see the captured video, image capture and captured audio that I started earlier on in this video. So that is it. That is how to stream from an Ultimate 64, Commodore 64 to a Windows PC. Thanks very much for watching.